so when it comes to the litter, um, you know, once on day 31 or 32, you'll see fur. Uh, and f fur will be in your cage or in the in the nesting box. Um, for those of you who don't use cooling stations or kindling totes yet, you'll see in the nest that there will be a ball of fur, and on the very top of that ball of fur, it'll be moving. Remove the ones that have expired. And it's good to make sure that that nest is pushed in the back, it's not broken up, there's no, the cluster has it broken into two different clusters because you want to make sure that that, get out of here chicken, you want to make sure that that litter is staying warm. Um, you know, a cold, a cold kit probably means it's going to die. So you want to make sure that litter stays warm. They're going to stay right around 100 degrees. When it comes to your rabbitry and domesticated rabbits, you know, it's not against the rules to handle the litter. Now again, like I said, you want to wait a day or two, but you know, your scent, um, you know, you'll hear these stories about how the mama, the mama doe will abandon the litter because uh, your scent's all over them. And when it comes to, to a rabbitry or domesticated rabbits, your scent is already on everything. These, these does are associated with your smell. I think that newborn kits, as curious as you are and as excited as somebody can be about it, um, it's just best to, to leave them alone and touch them. You know, just remove those kits and mess with the litter rarely, if at all. So it's a good idea to breed two doe at the same time uh, for a couple reasons. One, because you want to be able to offer uh, breeding stock. Two, you want to be able to foster those kits. Um, now, yeah, rabbits only have eight nipples, so if you have a big litter, there are going to be some rabbits, some kits that aren't going to be nursed. So you can easily just take those kits and uh, put them in a, a mama doe that's had a litter, and you want to make sure, it's very important to make sure that those those rabbits are right around the same age. If you were to put them in with say rabbits that were a little bit bigger and you put in some smaller kits those kits would not be able to fight have even have a fighting chance for those nipples so just be sure to make the ages uh, just make sure that the ages are right around the same when fostering those kits if they're the same color um, you want to go ahead and just take some ink dab it on their ear you can mark them um, or use an ear stamper just to make sure that you know where those does belong or who those does belong to. So if I pan this camera over, um, you can see that mom is sitting right here. They, she doesn't spend a lot of time with her litter. Um, when it comes to rabbits, they'll only feed their, their litter twice a day, um, only for a couple minutes, and then they'll get the heck out of there. I actually have a couple does that will bury the front of the tile to the, the kindling tote. They're trying to make sure that that nest has no odor, and you know that's why rabbits will eat the placenta, placenta right after the birth, the afterbirth. Um, well, for one, because it has a lot of nutrients, and two, um, it has a, an odor, and they want to make sure that that litter, the odor, is down as much as possible. So some people like to try to sex their rabbits two or three weeks in, and in my opinion, there really isn't any point. Um, you're not weaning them until six or seven weeks, and the less handling, the better overall. So I usually just wait until six or seven weeks, and then I'll separate the, the rabbits then. I don't really handle them very much. Uh, I just make sure I come out when I in the morning and in the evening when I feed and water them. I make sure the nest is pushed to the back. I make sure that you know there's no teats or no uh, kits that haven't you know grabbed onto mom's teat and pull gotten pulled out of the nesting box. You, you know you especially right now when it's 20 degrees in Michigan, it's crucial that you make sure that around the the nesting box there's a bunch of straw. That way, just in case one does fall out, um, it has a, you have a little bit more time. It doesn't freeze on the wire as fast. Um, so you have a little bit more time to, to get to that and put it back into the litter because, you know, it's not the rabbit's instinct to cover it or, or care for it. Or I mean, it will really just let that kit die. So um, just like just like in uh, the wild, um, mom will not take that kit and put it back with the litter um, because she doesn't want that kit to draw attention to the litter.
So after about 10 to 14 days, um, you'll start seeing rabbits, little kits, hopping out of the nest box. And eventually they'll make their way over to the feed with mama and they'll start eating pellet. So for the next month, they're going to they're gonna nurse and they're going to eat pellet. And that will build them a very strong immune system. They'll continue to huddle up and sleep in this nesting box turned on his side for about three weeks. Oh, well, at three weeks, that is when you want to, you know, when it's warm, go ahead and remove it. But in the, when it's winter time, you can go ahead and leave this nesting box up to four weeks in the in the box and, and be sure to have some straw um, put around the nesting box so when they you know when they come out when they break cluster they have something warm or a little bit with something with a little bit more insulation uh, so it's a little bit more comfortable for them so in the winter time four weeks remove the nest in the summertime I remove it at three weeks Sleep. I just want to add, if anybody uses these Tupperware bowls, um, I added this little piece of fence because when the rabbits in the summertime, or even now, if they drink all this water down, they can get in the bowl and make their way through, they can access this little hole and jump out. Um, that's actually happened to me before. So I add this with little zippy ties, and then also, from time to time, the litter, a couple rabbits will get excited and they'll push and they'll dump all the water out. So I, as far as wrapping two bungee cords on this to add a little bit more strength to this so the, the kids can't walk up to this and push this and drain all the water out. So at the rabbitry center, we have our does kindle in the cooling stations and the kindling totes. And then after 10 days, um, we'll remove those kits. Once they have a, a good amount of fur on them, um, we'll take those kits and we'll move them and the mama doe into their own 36 by 30 inch cage. And that's where they'll stay and remain for the next four to six weeks. Now, that's pretty much the, eat, the hard part is over. Once you reach that point, it's, it's a lot easier. So that's pretty much it. That's how we take care of our kits. It's really um, pretty easy. We don't, we don't really mess with them that much. We just kind of check on them. So if you guys have any questions, uh, please comment and be sure to like and subscribe for the next video. Until next time, we'll see you. Thank you for watching.